and hello one and all and welcome to my weekly review for NXT. We're going to take a look at every single thing that took place on the July 20th edition of NXT. Overall, this was another solid edition NXT of NXT that featured some good wrestling, uh, furthering of storylines, and the announcement of the return of a longtime injured NXT superstar. It was announced on this week's episode that in two weeks' time, Hideo Itami will be returning to the NXT ring. It'll be great to have Hideo out. He's been out for over a year plus, I believe. Um, so it'll be great to have him back for the TakeOver Back to Brooklyn card. A match that I would like to see him in would be to face Austin Aries. I think you put Hideo Itami and Austin Aries in the ring together, and they could go out there and have one hell of a match. So it was great to see that announced on this week's edition of NXT. But we also had uh, four other matches on this week's show. So without further ado, let's get a, uh, take a look at everything that took place on NXT this week. And by the end of this review, uh, we'll give you my grade for this week's episode. So we kick things off this week with a physical match. It was the NXT champion, Samoa Joe versus Rhino. These were two beasts, two very large guys. Mm. They were going to go into the ring, and you knew they were going to you know, tear shit up against each other, and that's exactly what they did. Um, you know, it wasn't a surprise here to see that Samoa Joe was the one that walked out uh, victorious. Um Joe was able to get the victory after he uh, was able to lock in the Kilkina clutch on Rhino uh, and made him tap out for a very nice submission victory for the defending NXT heavyweight champion. Joe has been on a tear right now, um, but I know eventually they're going to be building towards Joe versus Nakamura, so you make Joe look as strong as possible. And likewise, you make Nakamura look as strong as possible, Nakamura being undefeated, Joe being the Samoan badass wrecking machine that he is. And when these two forces go at, go at it in um, a month to this day, one month from now, it'll be NXT TakeOver back to Brooklyn. Going to be a stacked SummerSlam weekend. Cannot wait for that eventual showdown to happen and for the eventual announcement, the confirmation of that match. Uh, but uh, this was an okay match between... Uh, Joe and Rhino, like I said, physical match. Rhino able to get in some offense, but it just wasn't enough against uh, Samoa freaking Joe. After this, we had a um, backstage interview with Asuka. She kept it short, sweet, and to the point. I really love these promos from Asuka. You look into her eyes, you see she's serious, she is determined. She was asked, uh, will you fight Bailey or Nia Jax for the NXT Women's Championship? She says she will fight Nia Jax, and she will fight Bailey. And she will fight both if she has to. So, um, really, really looking forward to what direction they go with the NXT Women's Championship. And I think by the end of tonight, we have an idea of what we are going to be seeing one month from now in Brooklyn. Um, but our next match was the American Alpha versus the Authors of Pain. Uh, before the match even started, Alpha were making their way to the ring. Uh, the Authors of Pain blindsided Alpha. They threw Jason Jordan off the uh, the ramp, and they also uh, attacked uh, Chad Gable, laid him out on the entrance ramp. And we weren't even sure if this match was uh, was it was going to happen. Uh, but sure enough, the American Alpha persevered. They were like, no, we're going to fight. We're going to get back in that ring. Crowd was behind him. I'm like, all right, Alpha, get in there and uh, take it to the Authors of Pain. It was going to be quite the test especially with the pre-match beatdown that occurred. Um, but the Alpha went in there. They went in guns a-blazing. Uh, you know, there was some really nice... Um, this was a really solid wrestling match between uh, both of these teams. This is the first time uh, we've seen the Authors of Pain in the ring, and I thought they really um, looked dominant, and they were able to pick up the win, likewise, over one of the premier teams on NXT and against the American Alpha. Um, they worked well against the Alpha. You put them in there with uh, the preeminent team on NXT. They're going to make you look good. But um, the Authors of Pain, they certainly held up well their end of the bargain. And I'm excited to see where they are going to go forward uh, in the NXT tag team division. But this was a good outing for them. And will this be the last match that we see from American Alpha heading forward on NXT? It might be. We'll have to see, but if it is, uh, they go out um, on a losing end, but that's okay. If you put over the 
the new the new guys on the block, the Authors of Pain. I have no problem with that. Um, but yeah, the finish came uh, towards the end of the match when um, Jordan was um, he tried to make the save to Gable, uh, but they tossed him headfirst into the steel steps, and then they also uh, you know threw uh, Gable right into the LED sideboard. So that looked really, uh, really sick. And um, then eventually they were able to hit their Russian leg sweep clothesline finisher for the win on uh, Chad Gable. And like I said, really good match. Really solid match. Um, so I enjoyed it right there. We then had a backstage segment with the Revival. They were talking about how they are on a roll right now as the NXT Tag Team Champions and no one can touch them. Eventually Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, got in their faces and said, uh, we beat you, and therefore we deserve an NXT Tag Team Championship match. Uh, the Revival blew them off, uh, but I would really like to see that match take place, whether it's on NXT TV or at NXT TakeOver Back to Brooklyn. I think it would be um, a solid match and a good opportunity to highlight what I thought was one of the better tag team pairings in recent um, months on NXT. I really like the pairing of Gargano and Ciampa. Uh, you know, based on their friendship and their experience with one another, uh, working together, uh, I think they could put up a good fight against the Revival for the NXT Tag Team Championship. So we'll see where that little uh, confrontation goes in the weeks to come. We then had a very quick match against Austin Aries versus uh, Patrick Clark. Patrick Clark was, of course, uh, one of the popular contestants on Tough Enough. So uh, it was nice to see him make his debut here on NXT. Didn't really stand too much of a chance against Austin Aries. Uh, Aries hit him with the locked in the last chancery and made Clark tap out in relatively quick fashion. After the match, No Way Jose, looking for some measure of revenge, um, tries to uh, you know run out and make the save on uh, for Patrick Clark, and then he chases off Austin Aries. Um, so nice little. Um, you know, save at the end by No Way Jose, so we'll have to see where they go with this uh, heading forward in the weeks to come. Might this just be a match on TV, or is this the program that Aries will be headed in for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn? Um, we'll have to see. And then we had our main event of the evening, a really good women's wrestling match between Nia Jax and uh, Bayley. Uh, they went out there and they had um, just another good match between them. I've enjoyed uh, the series of matches that they've had against one another previously. Um, in this match, you know, Nia Jax was once again the posing obstacle that Bailey had to overcome. Uh, Nia threw everything that she had at Bailey, but no matter what she threw at Bailey, Bailey was able to keep um, keep coming back. Uh, early on in the match, Nia Jax just threw Bailey out of the ring and said, "Get her out of my ring." So displaying her arrogance and her power at the same time, but it wasn't going to be enough. To keep Bailey down, Bailey was going to keep uh, fighting for you know to get her measure of revenge after Nia Jax took her out several months ago uh, with the leg injury. Uh, towards the end of the match, uh, it looked like uh, Nia Jax was going to set uh, Bailey up for the power bomb. Bailey was able to uh, counter. Um, she hit a nice Bailey to belly um, off the top rope for the win. So that's how the the ending of the match came. But I really liked how. Uh, later on in the match, Bailey had Nia caught between both ropes. She was able to uh, utilize some devastating uh, maneuvers on Nia Jax, hit some uh, uh, some running uh, shots to the uh, to the face. So it, it was really the way that Bailey was able to persevere and wear Nia down over time, and then eventually hit that Bailey to belly off the top rope. Really nice finishing uh, sequence there. Bailey gets the finish, uh, pinfall one, two, three. Hopefully this now transition sets Bailey up for the eventual showdown. Bailey versus Oscar 2 at NXT TakeOver back to Brooklyn. So that was this week's edition of NXT. There was overall a lot of stuff that I enjoyed on this week's show. A positive episode for NXT. Uh, didn't top last week's episode because it was going to be hard to. I mean, Finn Balor versus Shinsuke Nakamura. But if I had to give a grade for this week's episode, I would give it a B. A solid B for this week's edition of NXT. So guys, that's my thoughts and opinions on NXT this week. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of NXT. And remember to please click that like and subscribe button for more video content coming soon to this channel. Be on the lookout for my review, excuse me, for the Cruiserweight Classic, Episode 2, 
hopefully get that up sometime tomorrow and then stay tuned for my battleground card preview and predictions video on friday and of course my live battleground review at 11 10 p.m breaking down everything that took place on sunday's pay-per-view and then of course this monday coming up where i will be live in pittsburgh and i will be live in attendance so be on the lookout for my live raw review after i make it home from attending raw we'll break down everything that took place there and of course i will be giving you a special day in the life video documenting my experience going to monday night raw so an exciting week of content continuing for here on the channel I want to say thank you to all existing and new subscribers without you guys this wouldn't be possible so thank you for helping to continue to make the channel grow and be a success and i will see you guys in my next video until then guys peace